I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. Hey, listen, bruv, it doesn't get better than this. Right on another episode, same strategy, trading volatility 75 index. The trading? Nah. Analyzing volatility 75 index. I got flu, but I just had to do it for my people. So, right, I've seen a couple of comments. Actually, I've seen more comments. You guys saying that I must analyze volatility 75 index for you. Or, in detail, I must analyze synthetic indices for you. So, I thought I should just do this for you guys and show you that with my teachings, you'll never go wrong. Whether you're trading stocks, whether you're trading indices, whether you're trading synthetic indices, whether you're trading shares, whatsoever that you're trading, bruv. Listen. So, we're about to get into this uh, pair, and obviously, guys, I'm so excited. After a very long time, I'm sharing a volatility 75 index set up so excited about this one so if you're new to the channel please make sure that you hit that subscribe button whilst watching hit the like button and share this video with your friend but if you are a returning subscriber thank you for the continued support man let's keep the numbers running you know we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we're gonna reach there by all means necessary oh without wasting time because i feel like now i'm talking too much i don't even know why i'm talking but maybe i, I just enjoy talking okay but fine guys as per usual we're gonna start with the daily time frame so on there you've or on binary it's written 24 hours so you know what 24 hours make 24 hours make a day so let's get into it same strategy scaling from a bigger perspective first market u10 second market u10 third fourth doesn't matter no more so let's just let me just put this line so this is how it looks like keep it in mind bro that volatility 75 index or synthetic indices when it comes to them they don't just give you that respect most of the time especially on bigger time frame they just be wild now but it's just a matter of you being patient and obviously trusting what you do right trusting your strike and definitely gonna see the results so let's just consider this one these levels i feel like they're the most relevant ones so this because this was our area of supply they then the markets ever since has been influenced even though the markets are just so stubborn but at the end of the day we're supposed to get that rally i mean we're supposed to get that trade because a rally is when the market is buying so this is what it looks like coming to the lower part of the market we're looking for these turning points but the ones that are visible right now or the ones that are actually making sense to me have to be these ones i'm not saying that the other ones are not making sense but i'm saying the ones that are making sense to me right now bro these ones we can see for 75 is so stubborn but like i said if you believe and trust in your strategy if you become patient then the rest is history this is how it actually looks like currently markets came here so this was supposed to be our buy area of buy markets kind of like created a free break area but then at the later stage markets came back and we had a proper respect just right there just imagine who would have thought then another one there so but that's not the main thing like i told you guys on bigger time frames you basically look for the market direction the market structure because now i've seen a lot of people asking me what is market structure people get confused by the word market structure only to find out that market structure is basically where what is it that the market is doing is the market up trending down trending or ranging so that's market structure what is it that the market is doing that's market structure that's the structure of the market so guys don't allow these people to confuse you with these words man at the end of the day words are just words that's what market structure is all about what is it that the market is doing so we look at structure on bigger time frames this is the daily from here let me just look for another one bro we have to make sure that all of these levels make room for rejection 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 and another one here so from this point on what i do normally or what i recommend you guys to do is to highlight these levels because they represent market structure so we put in this highlight just for reassurance that when you switch to lower time frames and you see this purple thing or whatever color that you're gonna be using, you're gonna be so confident that, that now nah, this is the area that I was I'm supposed to look at, right? So the color doesn't matter. Whether you use black, blue, white, it's all up to you, man. At the end of the day, we trade uh, the markets, trade the movements, not the color, right? So I got beautiful flu today. I'm gonna be fine though it's the change of season so right now we're going straight to the mother time frame we going straight to the mother time frame going to the mother time frame you can basically see that um markets gave us an area of supply right there obviously print previously respected using the candlestick 
confirmations you can see yourself markets gave us that thing that we actually wanted coming here markets gave us a demand and obviously it was respected market for the push to the upper part of the market as the markets were pushing to the upper part of the markets market gave us demand right this thing came here tried to break here but you know we only rely on a minimum of two candlesticks so first one second one third one formed inside so markets actually pulled back couldn't hold longer outside of the zone so market came back and from there it pushed all the way to the upper part of the markets right so as the market were pushing up so obviously we, we no longer recommend this supply because it was previously uh, respected so now it's a break free area come on now hope you guys are following so right now markets as the markets are pushing to the upper part of the markets gave us another newly formed fresh uh, supply right there so now the markets are actually respecting this supply however markets also gave us a demand right here what do we do with this demand because it was previously supply right there now it's demand why is it that we actually look uh towards getting right remember i told you that now this is a free break area markets are most likely to break to this level and further push to the lower part of the market and one when, when the markets are pushing to the lower part of the market where are the markets going where are the markets going markets are actually coming here Obviously, if you switch to a bit of a lower time frame, you will definitely see that this is your area of demand. So the markets are most likely to push to this uh, level right there, coming here, respecting here, then further push to the upper part of the market, right? But uh, for us, but right now we can't just uh, be so overly excited about something that we didn't even look at. So we have to switch to a bit of a lower time frame. Obviously, talking about my M15. What's M15? M15. That's the only time frame that I uh i trust when it comes to entries that's the only time frame where, that i trust when it comes to me looking for confirmations right coming to the m15 first thing that we have to look going back obviously looking at this area right there area of what area of uh demand and switch to bit of a lower time frame again just for your confidence booster you can use this one as a confidence boost switching to another lower time frame just to see why is it what is the structure there and you can definitely see that this is a proper supply demand so it doesn't really matter switch back to the m15 and look at the possible scenarios that could possibly happen on the volatility 75 in it you can see the market uh pushing to the uh, lower part of the market aggressively why simply because this is a free break area and you can definitely see that what made the markets to make a u10 was this um supply area right there so the markets came here first candlestick closed below the second closed below when the third candlestick formed that's where you're actually supposed to execute that seller and move with the markets as they were moving to the lower part of the market still early to hop in though just take this thing and move it all the way to the lower part of the market that's a possible scenario here we can obviously do like this if the markets break free here wait for a retest but if the markets are aggressive with the breakout just wait for a minimum of two candlestick to close below below because on synthetic indices an immediate breakout most occurs on the m15 that's where immediate breakouts normally happen so you can just add another uh, trade and move with the markets obviously all the way to this level here right it's gonna be something that's looking like that then from there you can also possibly look for a proper rejection right because keep in mind that this is a very strong uh, range of markets from a bigger perspective i'm talking my four hour time frame that's where we actually see that the markets are just playing around this area area of common right come here from here respectively push back to this level from this level i don't have any so markets could just be playing around here until the markets actually get out of its comfort zone so this is what i had for you guys on volatility 75 index i really really hope that you did enjoy this video if you did give it a thumbs up recommend this to your friends 
or anyone that you know colleague that's interested in forex and let them grab the skill free of charge as well so yeah this is what i have for you guys and please make sure that if you want to trade volatility 75 index you check the description box that's where you're going to get the link for the broker that has synthetic indices and that's also where you're going to get the free telegram group my forex trading community the link is just right there click that link join for daily updates and obviously for real market setups so i'm gonna see you on the next video guys cheers we call this the hot dog to me i'm coming right now i just gotta get the cheese hey i need me the cheese then i'm out